Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show the things to do after installing the Ubuntu system. So when you install the new systems, there are a few things I always do right after the installation to make my setup smoother and more enjoyable. So here is my step-by-step -step guide based on what worked for me. So the first thing to do after installing the Ubuntu um, is to update your system. So to update your system, you need to open the terminal. After that, you need to run the few lines of command, okay? So at first, uh, type sudo for the root privilege and type apt and type update. And type the password for your root account. So again, after that, type sudo apt and type upgrade. So basically, it will uh, overall upgrade your system. So after the updates are done, uh, make sure that you restart your system so all the updates are applied successfully. So another thing uh, to do is to customize the Ubuntu dock. So for that, you need to go to the settings. So after going to the settings, you need to go to the uh, Ubuntu desktop. So from here, you can customize the dock. So the dock is the uh, panel. Uh, this is the panel, which is in the left side of your screen. So you can uh, shrink the icon size inside the dock. You can uh, turn on auto hide mode, or even you can shorten the dock so it doesn't take up the full side of the screen. So you can do a lot of things here. You can customize the icon size that's for your need. You can configure the dock behavior. And you can also choose to auto hide dock. So when I uh, maximize this, then the dock will stay hidden. Or if you want to keep it as it is, then you can just uncheck this one. So if you want to get the more options, then you can install the NOM uh, extension manager by running a line of command in the terminal. So let me show you there. You just need to open the terminal. So you can just um, run this command to install the NOM extension manager. Type your root password. So by installing the extension manager of NOM, um, I could add some cool features like moving the dock to the center or changing how it looks. So another thing to do is to install the uh, default apps. So sometimes the system doesn't install a few apps, uh, which I really like. So I just reinstall them for myself. So these are the apps uh, which I'm going to install. So if, they, if these apps aren't installed by the system by default, then you can just easily install it by running a line of command. So I'll give this command in the description box, so you can just copy it and run it from there. So here we go, these apps are successfully installed. So you can just get these apps from here. So here we go, the library office is successfully installed. And there are other uh, bunch of applications too, which will make your day-to-day -day work easy. So another thing to do is to add media codecs and fonts. So what basically it will do, uh, it will it will help you to play MP3s, watch videos, use Microsoft fonts. So for that, you need to install the uh, restricted extracts. So again, you need to open the terminal and you need to run a line of command type sudo apt. So with the installation of the restricted restaurants, uh, you will be able to play MP3s, watch videos, and use the Microsoft fonts. So it is very useful, isn't it? So the another thing to do is to install the GNOME tweaks and other tools. So I enjoy customizing my desktop with the GNOME tweaks, and GNOME, GNOME tweaks is very essential for it. So to install the GNOME tweaks, you just need to run a line of commands. So for that type, sudo apt install numtix so with the numtix um, you can change the fonts themes adjust how windows vf so at last what you can do is to just do clean apps so once everything is installed uh, you can clean up your system to keep it running smoothly you need to run lines of command so type sudo apt or to remove
So this command removes any unnecessary packages that were installed but no longer needed. So next, you need to run a following command which will clear up the local packages cache which helps to free up the space in your hard drive. So the, so the command is sudo apt clean. So that's it, you are done uh, with the basic things uh, which is very essential to do after installing the Ubuntu. So hey guys, thanks for watching. I'll make such video if you like, share and subscribe my channel. See you guys in the next video. Until then, signing out.